A local seventh grader is already making a big difference in her community. Over the last few years, she's gathered hundreds of pounds of plastic material that she recycled and turned into something special for the elementary school she attended. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King shows us the final product and find out what else she has planned for the future. I'm here with my bench that took at least 100 pounds of cap. Marissa Akato is no stranger to community and conservation projects. She attended Garrison Jones Elementary School and during her time there, she collected backpacks filled with school supplies for other students and she also made tug toys for animals at the SPCA. Then for the last two years, she's been working on this. We had a service project, so I was thinking, well, if these caps are just being in the trash or accidentally thrown into the ocean, then why not just recycle it into a new bench for anyone to use? The project started for Marissa back in fifth grade and the pandemic slowed things down a little, but she was determined to finish the project and she's not stopping there. I know I want to make one for my middle school my high school and maybe my college. Marissa collects 100 pounds worth of plastic lids for each bench. She then hauls them up to Indiana to Green Tree Plastics, where they help her transform them into something sustainable. For the future veterinarian, that's important. Turtles think that plastic bags are jellyfish, so a different animal can mistake this cat for maybe a tiny white fish. And her alma mater is just happy they get to showcase her hard work. Our gifted classrooms do a project like this every year, so she is going to be an inspiration to the kids this year as well who are trying to figure out what they're passionate about and what their project will be. In Dunedin, McKenna King, ABC Action News.